I wonder why I wonder why this I wonder why this I wonder why this beer I wonder why this brewery I wonder why I wonder why this beer at this brewery in Red Deer Alberta calls it the pesky pig So why is there a bronze statue of a pig in this park? So I'm going to tell you a story from a small town. A story of Francis the pig. A ham on a lamb. So the story started in the summer of 1990 at a slaughterhouse called CA Meats at the time. That's the one right behind me here. And it started out on the kiln floor where this 108 kilogram pig ended up jumping over a 1.2 meter fence. And then he snuck through the sausage plant and he eventually got to the outside where he broke through a screen door and made his way into the bushes. And that's how Francis the pig escaped. At that time, the pig had no name. It was just a number. And this is how Francis got his name. So it wasn't until October of 1990 when the pig got all the public attention from being sighted so many times in the river valley here. So at that time, the public started giving the pig nicknames. And there was names swirling around like Papillon and Dundee. And then a few names came up like St. Francis of Assis. All right, do not know how to pronounce that. But that was the patron saint of animals and Sir Francis Bacon, who was an English philosopher, a scientist and an author. And then the name Francis stuck. <laughs> Sir Francis of Bacon. <laughs> Sir Francis of Bacon. <laughs> By October, when it was reported the pig was on the loose, this was the area where the pig was sighted all the time in October and November. And there was reports that the pig would be taking some of the food from the garbage cans after the snow started falling. And he was sighted here quite a bit between October and November when the city hired a tracker to try and get him back before the winter set in. Because there's no way he would have survived the winter out here. <laughs> so by the time November came around, the pig was a bit of a local folk hero. So CA Meats decided to contract a local fisherman and hunter to track him down and what the plan was is they were going to actually put him back on a farm to live out the rest of his days they knew in november there's no way he's going to survive in this weather so it took the hunter about a month to locate him and then he finally sighted him one day and he shot him with a tranquilizer one tranquilizer he hit him with but it didn't work <laughs> the pig got away again and about four days later i guess they spotted the pig on a farm west of town. So he went back out there and three tranquilizers it took to get that pig down. <laughs> so they finally got the pig out to a farm. And a sad to the ending of that story, about three days later or something like that, I think it was December 1st, 1990, the pig had passed on. So that's the story of a small town about the ham on a lamb. <laughs> so the Downtown Business Association decided to start a ghost project, is what they called it. And who did they pick to build these bronze statues of? Well, the founder of Red Deer, which was Reverend Leonard Gates. The first mayor of Red Deer. I can't remember his name, Francis something. And then the third one they did was Francis the Pig. <laughs> so they got three bronze statues of the founder, the mayor, and a pig. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that short little video. 
I think it's a little too cold for me to keep staying out here, so on to the next one. Thanks, take care, we'll see you later. This is too cold. I gotta get back to warm weather. <laughs> I wonder why this beer at this brewery in Red 